Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. Today we are doing the quest to give as good as you get. Move Muck fears for the safety of her missing Potsworn. In past times, Onfari only ever sneaky skipped when he was heavy burned with craftwork and needed a snooze best. Why would he sneaky skip now? Fallen for a sneaky skip to pass time hidey place, and Move Muck thinking uh, knows how to find him. Once on for a place a crafty trick on every mobby, he carved little arrows around Earthenshire that showed the pots were and how to sneaky slip away to a secret hidey place without help hands eye catching them. Fallen for has a sneaky skip to that same hidey place. We, you just have to eye catch the arrows. Please search for tiny sized arrows around Earthenshire and find on for I. Northwest. So that'd be north. I was talking for actual arrows that you had to try and track and follow, but I guess this will do. Thank you so much. I've been cruel twisted fate to be murdered by monsters just a few days before my retirement. I took this path to avoid being spotted by the moblins, only to get spotted by something far, far worse. It's a roundabout route to the Cracked Cistern, a community of artisans, mostly those who used to work in Earthenshire before they ended their contracts. The move seemed like the perfect place to move Move Muck's present without her finding out. Come with me, I'll thank you properly once we're safe behind its gates. There's another similar little place, similar to Earthenshire, but not run by Moblins. I don't know. I feel iffy on this. Oh, 
was like, what the fuck is this? It's just like a pot. And it's like, oh, that that's what it is. Here we are, safe and sound, thanks to you. First at work, let me introduce you to a good friend of mine. Meet Ross Sand, the finest artisan in all Toral. Don't listen to a word he says. If I ever had any real talent, it withered long ago. That's the reason you find me here rather than Earth and Shire. Crafting's best left to the true master of the, of the art, I say. That's why I'm letting Onfrey here use my workshop to make his gift for Muvamuk. I don't know if it's a good idea anymore, though. I was hoping she'd never find out that I left the village, but now that she has, she's going to be furious. Moomuk's done so much for me over the years, but all I've ever given her is headaches. Will this gift be, a gift be enough to make up for all that? Now, I'm not sure. I listen to I'm not sure I listen to a word you say, either. If she's angry with me, it wouldn't be the first time. All our years together, we're working together, that's been our way. She nags me, I fub her off with my work, fitting that it should end the same. Turn around with the present soon enough. Would you mind heading back to Earth and Shire before me? Let me know that I'm safe and well, and I'll be home soon. There's a weight left to hear that Onfrey is da dangerous and healthy-wise. Muvamuk is still puzzle-brained why he would far walk to the cracked cistern, though. Why no time for puzzle thinking? She needs to finish crafting making her buy gift. When I and Furry back walks to Earthenshire, we'll have plenty of time for gift-giving and grumbly words. How many times must we trade flip-flaps on this, Onfro? You must not leave the pot wall alone. Wild place is a dangerous place. I know, and I'm sorry. I can see that I made you angry, but this will be the last time, so... Do you want to keep the lecture short? Plenty well. Just fact share me. Why did you sneaky walk away to the cracked cistern? What do you make her? To make this, it's a present, a treasure box. I heard you like you took a leg to that ruby I once gave you. Didn't seem right to keep something you supposedly treasure so much in a tatty old pouch, so. This is for move a muck? Onfrey hides his deep feels with grumbly words, so Muvamuk will reply with grumbly words, too. Muvamuk knows that Onfrey is a flop-minded preeny dresser, so she made her treasure into a gaudy glitter dangle for him to hang around his neck. You made your treasure into a necklace and you're giving it to me? I can't accept this. If I did, you'd have nothing to put in the treasure box. All my work will been for naught. Onfer must accept it. Muvamuk made it specialized so that even after this pock packed ends and he leave takes Earthenshire, he will remember our long times together. I 
So, I mean, it is, it's similar to the Gift of the Magi, but slightly different. It's all your fault, you know. If you'd only told me what you wanted, I wouldn't have had to guess. And if you told me you were making me this necklace, I would have made you the box. Mumumuk's fault. Only an Adelbrand would even think of ruining a surprise by gift. You're saying I ruined it? If you ask me, we both ruined it, bickering like this until the very end. We're both of us irredeemable addle brains. Though we do have a knack for handicrafts. This necklace of yours is a little rustic. Perhaps anyone can see it was anyone can see it was made with care. As the box, take it. Perhaps your next pot will earn you enough to buy a better treasure. Ah, more grumbly words. Movemuk has many smileful memories, exchanging them with Aunt Freud. This is the most smileful of all. Only damp eyes that it, that may be our last. I feel like just saying idiots, the both of them. Apologies for making you witness that sorry spectacle. Thank you for helping us with helping with Move Muck's gift. And with mine too. Apparently it wasn't quite the perfect farewell scene I had in mind, but it was perfect for us. Our pot pact is at an end, and some of us go strange ways. On for it to a new life, move them up to a new craft hand. As long as we help hands fast keep the trust and respect we hold for our pots were in our hearts, and hand pass those same friendly feels to the next generation, the pot pack shall live on. I suppose I should start packing, though. My pot pack may be at an end. My career as an independent, as an independent artisan is just beginning. Spec more gifts where that treasure box came from. And so that was the quest. Give as good as you get. Thank you for coming by and uh, joining us here today for this little video here on YouTube. Hopefully, we'll see you again either for another video here on YouTube or maybe one of our many, many streams over on Twitch. Till then, though, have a wonderful rest of your day.